Hey, what's up guys? It's Anna, and today I'm going to show you guys my everyday full coverage foundation routine. Usually, I tend to not have an actual foundation routine. I switch products. I'm constantly buying new products and trying out different things, and I never usually have a set in stone routine that I use every day until now. I've started using this routine. I've probably used it for almost a month now, and I absolutely love all the products in it, and it's just the routine that I've found works the best for me, so I decided that I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm actually going to do this video kind of like a talk through instead of how I usually do makeup tutorials as a voiceover. I'm actually going to talk to you as I do it so that I can explain it better if that makes any sense. So comment down below if you like that better for future makeup tutorials or if you like it better when I do the voiceover. So anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the moisturizer. The moisturizer that I use is this Olay Moisturizing Lotion Sensitive Skin Moisturizer and I've just used this for forever. Like there's really nothing special about it. I haven't actually found a moisturizer that I just absolutely love. So if you have one, comment down below and tell me because this one's just, you know, regular. Okay, to start off, I'm going to use this primer by Benefit, and it is the Professional Pro Balm that minimizes pores. And you'll notice that a lot of these products that I'm using are by Benefit. I've recently just been obsessed with Benefit, so I'm using this as a primer. I'm actually not going to put this stuff all over my face, just in the areas where my pores appear the largest, which is right here on my cheeks, like the top of my cheeks right here. And also on my nose and like right in between my eyebrows right here at the like bottom of my forehead is where it appears the biggest and then the leftover that I have on my fingers is just gonna go everywhere else but I like to focus the majority of it on the places of my skin where my pores look the biggest so for foundation, I'm using the TimeWise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation by Mary Kay, and I, I like love, 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 love this foundation. It's so perfect. So I just apply a little bit of it to the back of my hand, and then I use this big stippling brush by the Sephora brand. It's Pro Stippling, and it's number 44. And I'm just going to dip it in there, and then I like to go start from the outside of my face, and then blend it towards the middle of my face. that I do foundation before I do the concealer. A lot of people I know do, um, oh I got a hair, do um, concealer and then foundation is because I feel like if you do concealer first, you're just covering up the dark circles that are naturally on your face and then you put foundation over it which makes it thicker. But if you do foundation first and then concealer, I have another hair. If you do foundation first and then concealer, you can already cover up a majority of the dark circles with the foundation and then the rest of it with concealer. So I feel like it looks a lot less thick if you do your foundation first and your concealer after that. So a helpful hint for making sure that your foundation blends in with your skin is to make this ratchet face and see if the color like blends in, you know. Just do the double chin face to make sure that the color matches the color of your neck. <laughs> it's such an ugly face, I know, but it's so helpful, trust me. And now for concealer, I'm using this Boing Concealer, which is also by Benefit. I only use cream concealers. I used to use liquid concealers, but I didn't like the way that they looked on my face, so I use cream concealers. And my favorite one by far is this Boing Concealer by Benefit. So I'm just gonna take it on my finger and put it right under my eye on the dark circles. I 
also apply my concealer in my tear duct right here because this area gets super duper dark for me. I don't know if that happens for everybody, but I know that it happens for me. That area gets so dark. I also put it on my eyelids because I have really, really veiny eyelids. And we don't want that to show, especially on days that I don't wear eyeshadow. I definitely want to put concealer there. I also, if I ever have any blemishes of any sort, like any pimples or anything, I'll put concealer on that. At the moment, I don't, but I always, always, always put concealer around my nose because it tends to get red right there, so, yeah. Now I'm gonna be setting my foundation and my concealer with a, um, a translucent powder. This one is by Neutrogena, it's the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder, and it's just a translucent pressed powder. And the brush I'm using is by Mary Kay, and it's just the Mary Kay powder brush. So I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. You can use a colored powder, but I feel like I have more than enough coverage with my concealer and my foundation that I don't need a colored powder, I just need to set it. But if you feel like you don't have enough coverage, then what you feel like you need with just foundation and concealer, then feel free to use a um, colored powder. Sorry, I have a hard time talking and doing makeup at the same time if you can't tell. This is probably why I should do voiceovers. <laughs> so I'm actually going to be doing my highlighter next. I know most people wait and do highlighter like last, but I actually like the way that it looks if you do it first and then do your blush over it. So like the shine is kind of like under, hidden under the blush if that makes any sense. I just feel like it looks a lot more natural. Um, I use this Benefit once again, the What's Up um, highlighter and it's just a little stick highlighter thing and it just rolls up and looks like that. I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones up here. Ooh, and then blend it in really good with my fingers. Excuse my ratchet fingernail polish by the way. It's extremely chipped and I apologize. I'm also gonna put highlighter right here on my cupid's bow to make my lips stand out because I really like the way that that looks. And a lot of people do highlighter down their nose and then contour the sides, but I don't like the way that my nose looks contoured, so that's why I don't do that. For bronzer, yet again, you guessed it, Benefit. I'm using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit, which is by far my favorite bronzer in the entire world. I absolutely love it. And it's just like this milk chocolatey color, love. I'm using another Mary Kay brush, and this is the Cheek Brush, but I'm actually using it for contouring. And I'm just gonna start right here and contour right in that little hole right there. I am by far not the best contour in the world. And I know that, but I just like the way it looks. I'm also going to apply the bronzer on my temples to give it kind of like a sun-kissed look. And then with the rest remaining on the brush, I'm not going to dip it in again. I'm going to go down my hairline. And then I'm also going to outline my jawline to give my face like a more defined look because I like I find that my face sometimes tends to blend in with my neck if that makes any sense at all maybe it's just me I don't know but I really like the way it looks when I define my jawbone like that so for blush I'm using this shell peach blush by Merle Norman I've used this blush for so long like years like two I had not the same blush like not the same this blush but like this you you know what I mean Anyways, I've used this blush for probably like two years now. I absolutely love this color. It's like a peachy corally color. It has like a hint of orange yellow in it. And it has like little shimmer specks in it. I don't know. I absolutely love this color. And it complements the Hula Bronzer so well. And I'm using this Shaney Cosmetics brush. It doesn't really have a name. It just looks like this. I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks and then kind of blend upward. And 
and that is my completed full coverage foundation routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below video request, and I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye! Mwah.